Oh my god. Good luck getting that fish out, Noah. Oh yeah. Happy freaking Mother's Day, guys. Hope everyone is having an amazing Mother's Day. I actually got to go to Atlanta this weekend for multiple reasons. It, um, I had just a lot of just crazy stuff to get done. Um, but I did not get everything done, sadly. But I did go back and uh, I was able to pick up this bad boy. So we will be getting some fishing content out to you guys. Um, but shout out to the, all the moms out there, um, especially my mom and my grandma. You know, they're amazing. Um, they really treat me good. They've raised me good. And a big shout out to my grandfather and my dad as well. Um, I got to see all of them this weekend and um, it was really good. It was really short. But I did get to spend time with them this weekend because I have a lot going on. I actually got up this morning. I didn't get up super early because I drove back last night so I could get a lot of work done today. So I actually got a good bit of homework done already. I got a good bit of homework done, but technically for how much I have is not a good bit. So I was like, I need to come out here and film a video because I have to have a video for you guys today. And I was like, it's a beautiful day outside. It's actually very hot. It's actually really, really hot. So I was gonna come out here and fish the pond in the backyard. I'm gonna be throwing a Texas rig today. I have to retie this rod. As you can tell right here, I have a wacky rig on right now. Um, but for what I'm gonna be doing, I need a Texas rig. So I'm gonna rig that up. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna go fishing. I actually went out there with one day last week and caught a good bit of fish on a Texas rig. Um, I caught a, a good number, um, and I lost two very good fish that we're going to be hunting down today, guys. I know exactly where they're at. I know where they live, and we're going to go catch them. So let's go ahead and rig this rod up and get out there. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. The boat is hot now. It's like 90 degrees. It is, it is, it, it is bad. You know, I was, I was wishing... I was really uh, getting excited for this warm weather, but now that it's actually got here, it's pretty harsh. I mean, it's, <laughs> it is pretty harsh. It is hot outside, guys. It's around 90 degrees right now. That is, uh, that is a hot day outside, so we're gonna go ahead and go catch some fish. This fish are gonna be lethargic, so we're gonna be throwing us an old shaky, or an old Texas rig. Holy smokes. Guys, it is hot out here. This is no joke. What is going on in the bank right here? Holy crap, are they chasing bait? Are they chasing bait? What is that? I don't think that was a bass. Might have been a big old carp. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Oh my God. First cast. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That was a bass. That was a bass. Did you just see that? Did you guys just see that? I literally just did a bank. I probably cast it from the end of that fence right there into the water. First cast. Holy smokes. That was a really cool fish catch. <sighs> Pop that sucker out. Nothing big, guys, but look at that. What a start. That is a start right there. Look at that fish, though. Just the markings on all these fish, guys. is just absolutely amazing. Beautiful, healthy fish. They do need some more food out here. But rather than that, they are some healthy fish. Let's get a release on her. See you, buddy. That was so cool, guys. First cast. I was about to I was about to show you guys what I was actually using and I didn't get to there's another fish jumping behind me watch today just be they're actually biting they're actually biting hopefully I see activity I will show you guys this bait here in a few minutes I'm seeing a lot of activity right here I'm gonna get my bait in there dragging an old Texas rig this is gonna get me in trouble just like just like when I came out here with that frog out one day I had a lot of homework I wanted to come out here for about 30 minutes. I ended up staying out here for like an hour and a half because the fish are biting so good. Let's uh, God, he already messed up my bait. We might need to grab a little, a few more baits. I don't know. I think I have two more in my pocket. Oh my God, look at them chasing bait. Oh my God. Guys, look at these fish chasing bait right there behind my house. They were chasing some bait right there. 
Holy smokes, look at him chasing bait. This is, I might need to go grab me something else for right now and go fish this Texas rig here in a little bit. Alright guys, I actually just tied this fluke on. Got this huge hook on here. And it's a weighted hook if you're wondering why, because there's a little screw lock too. Because I gotta get that bait out there. Look at these fish, man. They should tear this thing up. There ain't no reason why they shouldn't munch on this. Oh. I almost tied a double fluke rig on, but I didn't. I was trying to hurry, so I grabbed what I could. Let it sink. Oh, we hit the heck out of it. Oh, you about jerked the rod out of my hand. <laughs> Come on. Let that baby milk out there until they come back up. Oh, what in the world am I doing? Why didn't I hook set? That was the weakest hook set I think I've ever done. He had it. That was all my fault. I don't know why I can't get them on this thing. When they bust, you gotta be in there literally right right when they bust. And if you're not, they're not gonna eat it. And if they do eat it, they're gonna short strike it. So I'm gonna go take this little crawl right here. As you guys can tell, I got a bobber stop, half ounce tungsten, got a regular EWG hook, and a uh, little beaver. So this is actually Oakley's he left it in the bottom of the boat. So I just threw it right on. Threw it right on. That's what I caught that first fish on. I couldn't even catch them on a shad imitation bait when they're sitting there schooling. So we're gonna go around. We're gonna flip around in this corner. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a slight ripple on the water. There's a slight wind. A slightly blowing this way is pushing right back up in this corner. There should be some fish right here in this corner and on this bank. So let's go catch them. So guys, this is a little trick. See this little grass right here? I wanna flip on the edge of it because I believe there's gonna be a fish sitting up in it. I'm not gonna go right up on the bank. I'm gonna stay pretty far, pretty far out. Flip a little out and drag it up in there. Right there, guys. You don't wanna walk right up on that, especially if there's gonna be some fish in it. Especially when you're shore fishing. Oh, he's got it. Yep. Oh, he's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> right there, guys. That's how you do it. Little quick tip action. Just told you guys. You guys can tell as wind is pushing up in this corner should be some fish along this bank i know there's going to be some fish in this cover especially with this hot day he's going to be pushed up in there nice pound and a half fish i thought he was bigger than that when he jumped a beautiful fish let's get a release on her also one thing like i was talking about is not walking up on this stuff i promise you if i probably would have walked up right here he went a bit, you know, he probably would have saw me or saw me coming up or whatever, whatever the deal is, but I stayed far away from it, cast it up. He didn't even hesitate, he bit it the first time. Go. I've yet to catch a fish under that tree. It just blows my mind. Oh my God, he got it. He came out of that tree and got it. God, that's a good one too. That's a solid two pounder. He literally came up to my bait, guys. I stopped it because I was reeling it in. I literally was sitting there reeling in my bait, guys. I saw him chasing it. I stopped it. He picked it up and took off with it. Golly, that was insane. I was just talking about how I never caught a fish right there. And this bad boy eats it. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Nothing wrong with that one at all. Came right from under that cover right there in that shade. Makes perfect sense. On a day like today and ate that curl let's get a release on oh yeah fish number three there she goes we need we need big mama guys we need like a solid four three plus that's that's really what we need all right guys this is where it's gonna happen that's where i broke off two good ones i'm gonna pitch in this tree as you can tell i have my my bait pegged so the weight's gonna stay right here. It's gonna drop right down in that tree. He's probably gonna hit it on the fall. All right, you guys ready? He did not hit it on the fall, but I didn't get into the juice of it. 
Oh my god. Good luck getting that fish out, Noah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fish right there, guys. <laughs> Just what I was telling you guys. Look at that right in the top of his mouth. That's solid, too. Golly, might be a little, a little over. That's a thick fish right there. Might be two and a quarter. Beautiful one right there. That's exactly how you do it, guys. Put dry right in the middle of that tree where all that shade is. I have, the, I have the pegged curl, so it fell right down in. He hit it on the way down. Boom, nice one right there. I lost a four and a five here last week. But looks like I got, got their son, but he's still a really good, solid, healthy fish. Let's see if there's another one in there. I cannot believe I got that fish out of that tree. Somehow I hopped him right over that. That's why it's very important, guys, to have some heavy duty line when you're flipping like this around structure because you got to get that fish out it's just like fishing lily pads when you're fishing lily pads with a frog or a punching rig whatever it is you got some heavy heavy braid because you got to get that fish out of there and you i mean you can't play no games same thing goes to this cover you got to have some strong good line to pop that fish out of that cover and keep that tension because you can't let off it's not like if i hit this fish are schooling out there but it's not like if i hit a fish you know out there and i'm finding them in i can let them tug but when you're when you're fishing this cover you gotta hook set that fish and get them out of there let's see if there's another one back in there going over to the other side of the pond i am guys i am it is hot i'm sweating bullets out here i'm telling you it is bad i just checked my thing it's 93 degrees Woo! i'm telling you it's bad i, I can't stand this I used to miss the hot weather, but geez, guys, this is hot. Like, it feels like 80 now. That's that's just, you know, it's cooking, but it's feeling good. It's not like it's going to kill you. But once it gets in the 90s, I'm, like, dying for water. Like, I had to stop back at my house and get some water and take a Schmedley. And and then we're, we're going over to this side of the pond. So what we're going to be doing, there's some, uh, come on now. Why you got the beef in my face? So guys, the reason why I'm going to this other side of the pond because I really didn't want to walk the mid the mid section. I'm just going to be parking over here on the other side of my neighborhood. I'm going to go fish these pipes and also the mouth that reaches out towards the main lake. There should be a lot of fish out the main lake, the main part of the pond. So there should be a lot of fish out there. So we're about to go out here, guys. We're going to see if we can tear them up. It's been pretty good so far. So uh, I'm going to stick to that crawl. I'm going to pitch around these pipes. I'm sure we can wax some bass, but let's let's get to it all right guys we made it to this other side of the pond we are gonna see what we can do i want to fish this corner before i walk back into this little i guess you could say pocket this little corner that goes back then you got that corner you got this corner should be some fish sitting off right here oh ooh, he's got it jesus that's the best one yet i think yeah this is a good one right on that pipe Ooh, nah, he's about a pound, pound and a half of that. Mm. He's thick though, that's for sure. The color on this fish is different than the other ones, but that is a healthy one. Right off the end of that pipe right there, there's another one right here, and there's another one back there, but there's actually some people in their yards back there. I don't want to get bothered with them, so I don't know if I'm going to walk back there, which sucks because I think I'm going to get the majority of the bites out there, but let's cut them off this pipe. Pretty old bass, number five. Let's get release on it. I would expect another fish to be on there. I don't know if he's on a bite, but I am going to definitely give it a try. And then I'm going to chuck across the pond to that other pipe on the end of it, and I should be able to get one there. Oh, God. There he is. That's, pretty, that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah, long and skinny. He is not fat. He hit it first cast right out there. Look at that. Fish number six, guys. Not too, not too long after that last one. Look at that. Little skinny one. Here she goes. I want to show you guys something. See that fish right there? 
that I thought was a bass earlier is actually a catfish. See it? See it just run? I want you guys to see something. Look at all this baby little catfish. Look at all this baby little catfish. Let me get a shot on my phone. Look at all this baby's ca baby little catfish. I know it sounds crazy. I picked these up before. I picked a handful up in my hand. They'll shock you. They'll get you. Mind your motherfucking business, ain't nothing you gotta see How you all up in my shit when you got more problems than me? Yeah, I'm cool, but you don't wanna see that other side of me In my mobbing depot, I'm a prodigy I know, I know that you been envy, it ain't that hard to see Don't you dare go fix your mouth to tell me that you proud of me Ain't no 